He's like, okay, go ahead, you can pour it out. Yay. When it comes to family breakfast, there are lots of cooks in this kitchen. It's kind of hard. Yeah, it is kind of hard. Hard work. Elodie Kubik is six. You can get the extra bits, Gus. Big sister to Gus. A great big sister at that. Yeah, don't touch, it's hot. She knows about being cautious, being gentle. She's been approached with great care her whole life. Her parents, Emily and Dave. You're making tiny medical decisions Every all time. the time, all the time. It's a constant battle of trying to protect her but not protect her too much. Elodie has a form of epidermolysis bullosa, EB, a rare genetic disorder, often described as the worst disease you've never heard of. She's missing one protein called collagen 7. Collagen 7 is essentially what binds the layers of your skin together. So for Elodie, really the trouble is any kind of friction. Blisters and wounds are constants. Preventing infection requires special baths and whole body bandage changes. Taking off those bandages is really hard. You're essentially ripping bandages off of open wounds, which is really, really painful. So that's probably her hardest time. She's in that bath for 20 minutes, and then we have to bring her back and start from scratch and reapply all of the bandages. The process can take two to three hours. Elodie endures this every other day. She has a lot of anxiety around having baths. So for her, you know, when she asked me, is today a bath day? And I can say no, she sort of just, you know, relaxes. You like those no bath days? Yeah. I hear you, totally. I'm tired of my bath days, but not tired of the no bath days. Right now, there's no cure or treatment for EB. It's your skin, but it's also the internal workings of your body. It's the esophagus. It's your eyes, um, it's your throat. Life expectancy ranges from infancy to just 30 years old. But the Cubics say there's no reason that can't change with more research. As is often the case with a rare disease, those closest to it lead the way. When Elodie was born, it was Emily's childhood friends who stepped up. We said, what can we do? Can we send supplies? How can we be there for you? And she said, the way to be there for me is to help me save my daughter. And from then on, the Plunge for Elodie was born. What a beautiful day we have today. It's great to see This you. is the Plunge for Elodie, an annual fundraising event organized by these Wellesley women. Some of us met in utero, others met, you know, on the soccer field in elementary school. A public relations consultant, Kristen Fletcher, is the Plunge's co-chair. We have braved blizzards, we have braved frozen ice. We've faced the pandemic. But the most beautiful part about this event is nothing can stop us. We truly won't stop until a cure is reached. That passion has been contagious. The plunge is now global. There's plunges happening all over the world, and Canada, and Australia, and Ireland. And that all started with one movement of a group of people that were dedicated to make a difference and make change. Funds raised go to the EB Research Partnership. Michael Hund is CEO. Problem, and it is a solvable problem. Not only do we as an organization believe we can cure this disease by the end of this decade, but that's shared by the medical community around the world. When we started as an organization, there was two clinical trials. There wasn't a lot of hope, there wasn't a lot of promise. 10 short years later, we now have 40 clinical trials. EBRP as an organization has funded more than half of those clinical trials, so we've really created a market where there is hope, where there is promise. Please go over and buy a butterfly bracelet. You can Little ones with EB are sometimes called butterfly children. Their skin fragile like a butterfly's wings. Inside though, Elodie has incredible strength. I play piano, I, I can dance and I do art stuff. You're an artiste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love it. Her life is so full. She's just always bubbling with what she's doing and has great friends. Kindergarten to me was like, okay, now you're going to public school. This is next level. She managed it really, really well. Um, didn't miss a beat whatsoever. Absolutely loved it. Loves going to kindergarten. Throughout her life, Elodie has pushed past expectations. With continued awareness and action to fight EB, the Cubics are hopeful she'll continue to do just that. Pretty good? Yeah.
Mm. Such a strong little girl. Mm -hmm. And this year alone, the Wellesley event raised about $418,000. The annual goal is $500,000, and giving is still underway. And over the years, a lot of celebrities, Jessica Biel, Emma Watson, have helped to raise money for EB Research. And Pearl Jam frontman Eddie Vedder and his wife helped to co-found the EB Research uh, foundation. They've raised a lot of money as well, so there's a lot of high-profile support for a very necessary cause. All right. Up next, the importance of early intervention.